In my previous video, I tried to introduce our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but this introduction is not enough without demonstrating his perfection and achievements. He became perfect after getting the revelations from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The same revelations were sent to the previous prophets as well, but mankind distorted them. So as a last chance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent the revelations in a pure form to him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He established the first Islamic state based on Islam, based on Quran. You know, Quran consists of two parts, the doctrines, Aqidah, and the Islamic law, the Sharia. We cannot divide the two from each other. And the Quran was the main scripture giving the instruction how to govern that state. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam worked out the first constitution of the world called the Stur al Medina, constitution of Medina, 600 years before Magna Carta in 1215 or Golden Bulla in 1222. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam established the necessary institutions of the states, legal institutions, security, defense, how, how to deal transactions lawfully, what is the finance, what is allowed, what finance is haram or halal. Not only consumer goods are halal or haram, everything can be halal or haram. It was a very, it was a very successful state, so it was attacked many times by the enemies. So there was an army to defend it. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam led that army very successfully. In his lifetime, there were not wars, there were not wars to outside, only defending wars. So it was not aggression as people are saying. Medina served as a pattern to the later ages when Islam has become an empire. Yes, and this empire consisted of different caliphates. And every caliphate looked back to Medina as a pattern and to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a pattern how to lead the state. We have no more caliphates. In this age, the institute of caliphates doesn't exist anymore. Although there is around 2 billion Muslims in the world, but we need a kind of system. Yes, the system is in us, because the pattern of Medina and the pattern of Muhammad is still living. Nobody can eliminate it. Even if we are following secular laws and regulations, because we are citizens of secular states, but our soul is not secular. It has its divine origin. And nobody can kill Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are living in our heart. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.